Good day, good day. My name is Frank, and I'm so happy today because I got invited to do a story time to my nephews, Tomas, Clara, and their little mates. Today we're going to be reading a book called Wombat's Do, written by Marshall Bono and illustrations by Pamela Love. This is a book that I really enjoy because it has many, many characters, animals, typicals from Australia. We have Dingo, a typical wild dog from Australia, Wombat, a platypus, an emu, a blue tongue lizard, an echidna, and a koala. One day on the banks of Billabong, a very clever Dingo caught a Wombat and decide to make Wombat Stew, Wombat Stew Gooey brewy jummy jittery Wombat Stew Hmm, Wombat, I don't think he likes that recipe Platypus came ambling up the bank Good eye, Dingle, he said, snapping his bill What's all that water for? I am brewing a gooey chewy stew with that fat wombat, replied Dingo with a two degree. If you ask me, said Platypus, the best thing for a gooey stew is mud. Big blood of billabong mud. Lots of mud, Dingo laughed. <laughs> What a good idea! Righto, in they go! So Platypus scooped up big blots of mud with his tail and tipped them into the billy can. Around the billy, bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey brewy jimmy chubby, wombat stew. Waltzing out from the shade of the iron banks came Emu. She arced her graceful neck over the brew. Oh, oh, Dingo, she fluffered. What we have here? Gooey, chewy wombat stew, boasted Dingo. If it only were a bit more chewy, she sighed. But don't worry, a few feathers will set it right. Feathers? Dingo smiled. That will be chewy! Righto, in they go! So into the gooey brew, Emu dropped her finest feathers. Around and around, the billy, bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy munchy for my lunchy, wombat stew. Mm, so happy. Old blue tongue lizard came sliding off his sun soaked stone. Silly dingo, he said. There's no flies in this too. Can't be wombat stew without crunchy flies in it. And he stuck out his bright blue tongue. <laughs> There's a lot to say for flies, agreed Dingo, rumbling his paws. Right on, in they go. So Lizard snapped 100 flies from the air with his long tongue and flip them into the gooey, chewy stew. Around and around and around the bubbly billy, Dingo danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy munchy for my lunch, wombat stew. Up through the red dust, prompted a kitten now. Wait a bit! No so fast, he bristled, shaking his red dust from his quills. Now, I've been listening all this advice, and take it from me. 
for a munchy stew, you need slugs of bugs and creepy crawlies. Dingo wagged his tail. What? Why? I should have thought of that. Righto, in they go. So Echidna dug up shorts of creepy crawlies and dropped them into the gooey, chewy, crunchy stew. <sniffs> Yummy. Oh, very clever. Dingo steered his steer and steer while he was singing. Wombats too, wombats too, hot and spicy, oh my nicey, so wombats too. Just then, the sleepy-eyed koala climbed down, scribbling the gum, gum tree. Look here, he yawned. Uh, any bush cook knows you can make a spicy stew without gum nuts. Leave it to a koala to think of gum nuts, Dingo laughed and licked his wiggles. Right on, in they go! And into the gooey, chewy, crunchy, munchy stew, koala shot lots and lots of gummy nuts. Aha! cried Dingo. Now, my stew is missing only one thing. What's that? asked the animals. That fat wombat. Wait, stop, hang on. You can't put that wombat in the stew yet. Why not? You haven't tasted. Right, oh, I will taste it. And that very clever dingo bent over the billy and took a great big slurp of stew. I'm poisoned, he howled. You all trick me. And he dashed away deep into the bush to never sing. Wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey brewy yummy chewy wombat stew. And wombat was so happy with this happy ending. Okay, mates, I really hope you enjoyed this story. Big hugs for you. Cheers.